Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. Happy Warrior Wednesday. It's Warrior Wednesday. And are you a warrior for yourself? Singing my song is the first step to being a warrior. But more than anything, being awake and being awakened and being aware and being he who sees, he who understands, he who is aware, who he who hears, aho, and he who notices. Is, is the biggest and are the biggest keys to being right here, right now. Hey, 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 na, na. Hey, awana, Iona, Iowa, aho. Great spirit, I am here. I am ready. I am here. Great spirit. H-E-R-E. Can you hear? Do you hear? Are you present? Are you here? Are you in the gift of your presence and the presence of your gift? Are you here to hear what I have to say? Are you here for great spirit? Are you here for great mother? Are you here for the four directions? And not just the four. So below. So above. And as above, so below. Aho. Aho. Oishino, oishino, oishino. Are you ready to be a warrior for for yourself? And I'm really feeling about uh, and, and 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 needing to have to talk about being a warrior for ourselves because there are those of you who don't know how to be a warrior for yourself. You create victimization and you bring victimhood into your life, and you don't even know you're doing it. You know, when will you stand in the power of who and what you are in the voice that creator gave you? Aho, in the power that creator gave you, in the foundation that creator gave you. I was talking to somebody earlier and I'm really disturbed about the conversation that I had that somebody's being stopped. And I asked them to call the police and let the police know that something's going on. They're, they're, they're a little afraid. They're more than a little afraid. I'm afraid for them. And I don't want anything to happen to them. But unless they're willing to stand in their power, their core power, and say, hey, this isn't okay for me to feel this way. You know, they, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I held the title as Sexton at a place called the Little Brown Church of the Valley in Studio City, California at one time. I lived there for almost 10 years. I was the caretaker. I took care of that church. That church was open 24 hours and I had to deal with drunks, drug addicts, prostitutes, the homeless, you name the crazies, you know, uh, everything that I had to deal with, I dealt with and I had to bring the police in. Sometimes I had to have a big flashlight. Sometimes I had to have a big baseball bat, but I stood my ground. And I protected myself at every turn. I always dealt with what I had to deal with 
in a safe way. I didn't get crazy and think that I was a badass. When I was doing something, I had the police on the phone so they could hear what was going on when I was having to deal with somebody. I don't mess around. I take care of Anthony. And that was before I came into my medicine, the whole before I came into my medicine, before I stepped into my power of my voice and my soul and who and what I am and who and what I have always been, well before that. So for those of you who, who have issues of, of, you know, feeling sorry for somebody who may be threatening you, fuck that. <laughs> you know, if you feel threatened, do something about feeling threatened. Don't feel bad because they may be a drug addict or they may be homeless or they may be whatever because your life may be the final price you pay for some for feeling sorry for somebody. You know, me first always, you first always. And if you can't take care of yourself, you better find somebody to take care of you. Because I'm really, I'm really moved right now by what the conversation that I had earlier and how much I had to say to try to get somebody to go to the police to say something. Not, to, not to, so much to file a report, but just to create an awareness with the police in a small town so they are aware and they get there in a minute if something happens. I hope that's what happens in small towns, not in big cities like L.A. That's not going to happen here. But you do everything you can in your power, in your core power, in your foundation, in your truth, and in your voice, if you have a voice, to get that done. Are you willing to, take care of, to take care of yourself before you feel sorry for somebody? Are you? Can you? Will you? Do you? I always ask those questions. And there's a reason for it. Because those with low self-esteem or no self-esteem or those that are, are energy vampires... Or, or, or what have you, are going to do what they're going to do regardless of a situation. And I'm going to ask you, Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, is going to ask you to do everything you can in your power to protect yourself and those around you. Aho! To not let anybody impede on you and, 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 and force their will on you. That is not freedom. That is not love. That is not care. That is not self-care. I hope. And a lot of you women in bad relationships know what I'm talking about. And a lot of you men with those women in bad relationships know what I'm talking about. You will not step out because, oh, it'll take care of itself or she'll leave or whatever the case may be. What is it that you are doing to protect yourself, to give yourself something better? Are you? Do you? Can you? I'm I'm moved today by this, and I'm and I'm I'm a long ways. Away. I'm you know 500 miles away, 400 miles away, and I'm moved by it. And something needs to be done. <sighs> Saying that, what will you do? I know what I would do. I hold shit and want to hold it. In fact, as a matter of fact, there's a guy parked right outside the window across the street with two cars. He's been like I don't know. He doesn't live here in this neighborhood, but he's parked there and he keeps moving the cars around. I think he's hiding the cars from the police or something. I don't know what's going on, but I had to call the police the other day on this guy. You know, I have to take care of my, I'm in my mother's house right now until I get back to Arizona. I have to make sure that my mother is safe. My nephews and nieces live across the street in the Kovacac. I want to make sure that they are safe. I want to make sure that I am safe and my brother is safe and the neighbors are safe. So, I'm my own protector, and by being my own protector, the overflow is everybody else gets protected as well. Are you willing to do something for yourself, sir? First, I hope I'm very, I'm very passionate today about this. And if you're the person that I was talking to earlier and you're hearing me, please hear me. Please hear me. H e r e h e a r me. Please, right here, right now. I'm serious as a heart attack. I'm not going to have one, but I'm serious as that. Anyways, Anthony Rodriguez, walking quote for the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine, and I'm asking you to take care of you first. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> You're the most important person in your life, and if you have children, and if you have employees, and if you have uh, 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 people who love you in your life, you'll do that, won't you? Aho, aho shinawana honata, aho shinawana hey. That said, I can put my smile back on and take my serious face off and start to, well, you know, see, I, I can love through a serious face. I'm, I was about to say, so I can love again, but I love anyways. I love regardless. And if I love you, you're going to hear from me about the nonsense that you may be doing or not doing. <laughs> All right. 
Anyways, so I'm going to get to singing. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for loving me and allowing me to love you. If you don't love yourself in a way to get yourself out of a situation, you need to you need to do something. I don't know what it is. Maybe you need a session with me. I don't know what that is. Anyways. This is my left hand, the hand of divine feminine, the hand of divine feminine receiving, the hand of duality. I'm going to ask you to place that hand on your heart. And I want you to take your hand, your right hand, the hand of divine masculine, the hand of duality, it gives a divine feminine. I want you to place that right hand of giving over your right hand of receiving, over heart. And I want you to repeat after me three times. I am where love lives. And I am what hope looks like. I am where love lives. And I am what hope looks like. I and where love lives, and I am what hope looks like. Aho shino wa na honata, aho shino wa na he. Thank you, Great Spirit. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you for tuning in and listening. I hope not listening with your ears, but listening with your heart, listening with your fire, your fuego. I can, I will, I do. Listening with your water, your second chakra, your connection to others, and listening with the root of your foundation. Be rooted and fruited and be blessed. Anthony Rodriguez, walking quote for the transformation of sacred medicine, asking you to have a beautiful and blessed day. Aho, aho.